Hello everyone, my name is Master Starman. And beginning off on a Peach and Twink interlude. I wonder how Mario's doing. Do you think he found a way to beat that tub of blubba? I wonder too. I'm so worried. What if Mario got hurt? Well, um, no use wondering. Why don't we go and try and eavesdrop again? If Mario managed to beat Tubba Blubba now, Bowser and his followers would be really, really mad, don't you think? Maybe right, Twink. There's just no use sitting around like this. Let's see what we can find out. Hmm. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to escape again and find out some more information. Uh, this interlude, I'm really not sure if I can remember where we're supposed to be going. I actually think, I actually don't know where we're supposed to be going, to be perfectly honest. As sad as that is to know. Oh. This can't be it. No, no, no. Explain that again slowly. Your wretchedness, I keep trying to tell you. Tell blah, blah, blah was... Defeated by Mario. Well, that's strange because you told me he was invincible. How can you beat someone who's invincible? Gosh, stupid Mario. I guess maybe he found out the secret made to Lobo not quite so invincible, and then beat him. Gah, I despise Mario. Really, your filthiness. We have to come up with another act quickly. Mario will be lo most likely to go to Shy Guy's toy box next. Yes, so we should prepare something there for his arrival. I won't be satisfied having him beaten up anymore. What we need to do is find his weak point completely and humiliate him. Yeah, Kim and Koopa, you've got to find out what Mario hates. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> For the love of what? Why, well, it's Princess Peach here. What's wrong with those guards? No, wait, hang on. We're just discussing this week's the weak points of our mutual friend Mario. So, Princess Peach, what do you know about this weakness, huh? Listen, you know, be honest, which is one of the things Mario hates the most? Mushrooms, I guess. They're not too different from Goombas, but Mario likes Goombas slightly more than mushrooms. See, is there another thing that he fills with dread? Um... Fuzzies are annoying. He's used to fighting them, though. He was always used to fighting Hammer Bros. He doesn't like a Thunder Rage to the face. Good, good. And how about these things? Which of these things does he hate? Um, Pokies move way too slow, uh, Koopa Trolls, I'm pretty sure that they're dumb anyways. Eh, he likes a good Super Soda, or actually, I don't know, he might like a good Super Soda though. Who knows, I never actually had him with a Super Soda before. Oh, excellent, perfect, thanks, Princess. <laughs> I'm sure Mario can't avoid these things he hates, we'll beat him for sure. Did you get all that cami? Get going immediately. <laughs> of course, you're an Eileenus. Mario's really important now, um, or is he? Hmm, I started wondering there for a second. But then again, King Bowser sorted this, so I have no choice but to obey him. We'll see, I guess. Guards, attention! Take Princess Peach to the room! Yes, ma'am. Okay, then. Now, that was actually a pretty simple Peach interlude for the most part. And... Hello again, Mario. I knew you could do it. I was... Wait, no, I was doing a King Kai voice last time, so I should probably continue that. I knew it was the right decision to ask you to help us. Uh, you're a great man. That isn't King Kai at all. Um, God, it's been... Now that I'm free, I can... Uh, I, I don't know, I'm not doing that anymore, okay? I can't do King Kai uh, impression. Now that you're free, I can help you. Ha. And, Mario's star energy goes up to 3, and now we learn Star Storm, which is an amazing attack. It does 7 damage to every single enemy in the field. Now, it does use up a lot of star energy, but I there is no shame in using this if you have to. So, that is all for that there, I guess. Now it might be a wise idea to... Actually, I'm just going to go really quickly in here because I noticed a star piece in editing I don't think I ever picked up and I kind of would like to pick up a star piece now that I think about it. So I'm just going to quickly off screen where that was that I missed it because I know I was being chased by a hyper cleft at the time, but even still.
Okay, it was... I think just right here. Um, let's show off Star Storm right here. That's a good... This is a good time to show it off, because I'm close to a level up anyways, and these enemies will certainly probably give me close to my level up anyways, so... Yeah, this is gonna kill all these enemies in just one hit. Downside is that two star points is quite a lot for this point in the game. As you can see. It uses a lot of it, star energy, but is incredibly useful. Uh, I'll just use power carry here. And I know that there was a star piece here, right in behind. Mm. Stupid flipping enemies, get out of my way. Um, I don't have... Spike shield and D-down jump equipped, so I can't exactly damage those guys that easily. And obviously I never bought D-down pounds, so... Because I'm just not really a huge hammer guy. So yeah, now I'm going to off-screen back up to where I was previously in this area. Okay, now that I'm finally out of this stupid area here. Anyways, when you're heading back through the Forever Forest area, um, actually we might as well stop by Boo's Mansion here. Um, I might as well save here. I do also have a, ba a backup file at the beginning of the chapter in case something goes wrong like it already has once in this Let's Play. Not gonna make that mistake ever again. I haven't ever used a backup file since, I think, Metroid Prime, actually. That was the last time I used one, and that was quite a while ago. Okay, um... I'm actually going to equip, uh... Oh, shoot, I want to equip D-Down Jump right here. Uh... We have a boss fight, I... Uh... I might want refund in case I have to use some items. I'll equip D-Down Jump just so I can show it off. I haven't used it yet. And look who it is! We have Junior Troopa again! Junior Troopa is really not much different, except I think he has a weird tra- Yeah, he has a back transformation, which is kind of annoying, because you can't hit it with your hammer, meaning you have to use something like D-Down Jump would be really effective for this situation here, because you can obviously damage him. And I screwed up the timing there, but... Yeah. Oh wow, that was actually doing a lot of damage there, too. I guarded that, and it did three hit points of damage, so, yeah, that's a, essentially a five power attack there. Thankfully, it's easy to block off, but even still. Actually, I'm wondering how powerful, how useful Mega Rush would be here, if I managed to guard against one of those again. Oh, man, that would be super useful if I had that right about now, but, uh... Um, I don't, so, uh, Super Mushroom, <laughs> refund, okay then, alright, I'll hit him with a shell shot there, just so I can do some damage this turn, um, alright, I believe he has around 40 hit points, and uh, apparently one of my friends gave me a correction on, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure he gave me a correction on Buzzer, the main boss we fought on the way back from the Dry Dry Outpost. Apparently Buzzer only has about 40 HP, not 50, so that's my bad really, but I'm not actually sure about that statistic in total, believe it or not. It could very well end up being 40, but it could also be 50, so I'm not sure about that stat there. I never actually checked it yet. Anyways, uh, we now have enough EP to equip some more badges, 
and I'm actually going to be equipping, um, what do I want? Zap Tap is good, but I think I might equip, a uh, Spike Shield and Power Bounce again, because I think that those could be some pretty nice badges. Anyways, take a wrong X it there, and... Whereabouts am I flipping going at? Um... Take me to flipping Toe Town here, Jesus. Wait, hold on, this is where I needed to go, here. Yeah, and then just leave from here. Yeah, now we're finally back out, and... Oh, I made it out of the forest! I can kiss this ground! Yahoo! Alright, well the kid's finally out again. We'll be looking forward to seeing that guy in the future, hopefully. And what's up with the music here? Uh, uh, no! My favorite frying pan! Huh. Something didn't sound good. Let's go up and see what if we can find any more residents. Hey, little scamp, get your hands off. Give me back my calculator. Uh-oh, what the hell's going on in here? Sorry, bud, I had to close up my shop. Some idiot shag ass stole my calculator. Can you believe that? I need that thing to calculate sales, but I'm not a genius when I find that little punk. Oh, it's on now. Anyone who messes with the bad shop is on now. Oh, it's you, Mario. What fortunate timing. Hmm? The town seems to be pretty active today, but it's none of my concern. I had a dream last night, and another oracle spoke to me. His voice was heavenly. If you keep going around and around the red palm tree in the desert town, you try to post something good will happen. It's my dream. Uh, that's for something, probably an optional side quest, I think. Uh, not something I'm gonna worry about right now. However, what I am gonna worry about is what the hell's going on with these, um, with everyone's belongings. Stop, thief! And another one just fled off there. What the hell is going on here? Alright, just hit both those. Oh, thank you, the flowers. Right. Yeah, well, that's not a big concern at all. Anyways, let's go on and see what, what's up with these stupid shy guys and where they've been going off to. And let's get some more information. Mario, 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 have you ever met the wise to Rusty? He's more books than you could shake a shroom at. Mm, that sounds kind of interesting. I bet we'll be using him eventually soon. Mario! Oh, hey, Twink! Mario, Mario, good to see you. We found out that you defeated Tubba Blubba. I just knew you could do it. I knew it. When, Mar when we heard the news, Princess was very relieved. Oh, yes. I've got new information about the Honorable Star Spirits who are still in prison. Have you ever heard of the Shy Guy's toy box? It seems that one of the Honorable Star Spirits is being held there. But where on earth is Shy Guy's toy box? I have no idea. Oh, time is short. I have to go back to the princess now. Good luck, Mario. Prince Peach and I are always cheering you on. Okay, Shy Guy's toy box, um... It's actually located somewhere around here. We'll get some more information eventually. Really quickly, though. This guy here. Yo, little man. My name is Chet Repo. Pleasure to meeting you. Say, man, you want to upgrade your status? I know you can do it. It's usually 390 coins, but for you, I'll do it for just 39. If you give me 39 coins, I'll upgrade your HP, FP, BP. I'm not lying or cheating. Come on, you know you want it. Um, I'm fine. I can just go naturally. I'm positive that Shy Guys are coming from somewhere in Toad Town, but where? Where could they be hiding? That's my guess. I in a house? Dig me. Hmm, well. Let's use our new partner with invisibility and see if we can find something new. Actually, I think there's a secret somewhere around here. No, not there. I've heard rumor that Shy Guys are hiding in somebody's house in Toad Town. Here? Shy Guys in Toad Town? What rubbish. I think that people would notice a huge group of Shy Guys living in one of the houses in the neighborhood. There's no way that's true. Hmm. Never know. Hmm. What the heck is this? Uh-oh. Oh no, it's Mario! Could that be a hint to what we're looking for? 
Hmm. How about if he doesn't know we're here? Whoa! There's a secret here. It's a secret to everybody.